the fresh dill and chimes from the garden. And here we have the cheese. It's been hanging for nearly 24 hours. It's not juicy at all now. Last time I just let it hang for, for 12 hours, I think. Yeah, so it was still a little bit wet. still quite wet and, and creamy and juicy. Well, of course not. This was about 4 or 5 liters of milk. Now we have about half a kilo, one kilo of cheese maybe. Mm, maybe almost a kilo, yeah. This worked very, very well now. So when it's still wet or when it's uh, wetter than that, then it doesn't if you keep the shape. loose so, so easily. Okay, it sticks to it. Yeah. And if you make feta cheese, yep. it looks like that a little bit. But it's it's harder yeah. than that. Okay, so, mm. let's hold it back. I'll eat this piece. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you should try. Oops, there's a hair in it. Do okay. you like it? It tasted very different to yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yesterday it was just soft and no flavor. And now already it has flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I saw I some. Take them. The, the story was they got them at Vinico and they didn't know what they were. Now here I've boiled the leftover whey together with some juice tablespoons of vinegar to make some ricotta cheese. This way for it to cool down before we're going to strain it again, as we did with the first round of cheese making. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, yeah, it's good. What does the cheese taste like? Yeah, it's a little bit like that. That is it. Mm. No, I'll Tie it up again like we did last time and hang it over the floor. Yeah. Cars. <laughs>